their whole team as as a whole. You got Drake London, big bodied, physical wide receiver next to Kyle Pitts, who's obviously incredibly strong and fast as well. And now you've got a quarterback who's aggressive inside the pocket, but can also yeah. do designed runs really well outside of it. If you squint hard enough, it's kind of the Tennessee Titans, and you see the vision that Arthur Smith is building Great in point. Atlanta finally. Oh, I love it. Malik Willis had a drop that we didn't see coming. He was drafted by Tennessee in the third round with the 86 overall pick. Dan, you predicted a quarterback to Tennessee he ends up being Willis. Yeah, and I think it makes a lot of sense for both him and the team. Number one, the team scheme is built upon quarterback movement, getting guys outside of the pocket fully halfway and then the play action game. That's a Malik Willis strength. I also love the fact that they do have Ryan Tannehill and he doesn't have to get on the field right now and try to win and develop at the same time. And I love the fact that their head coach and general manager are secure in their jobs. So they're not going to feel the pressure to run him on the field and prove to ownership, we've got this young player to save our jobs. It's a really ideal fit for both player and organization. On to Carolina. Many projected a quarterback to them with a sixth overall pick. They waited until number 94 to draft Ole Miss quarterback Matt Corral. Todd, is this a good fit? Well, it's a good value. I can tell you that getting Corral in the third round. I don't know about the fit, though. Honestly, this year, Sam Darnold, to me, will provide more than Matt Corral could as a, as a rookie. And then moving forward, I would much rather have traded up nine spots and gotten ahead uh, of where me, Malik Willis was coming off the board and mm. take him then, where the Tennessee Titans took him eight, eight picks ahead of where they took Matt Corral. To me, having a situation where Malik Willis could come in and, and be the guy in the future and you have one more year with Sam Sam uh, Darnold, that makes all the sense in the world to me. Corral, yeah, good value fit. I don't see him as a future star in the league, though. Uh, Dan, the camera's over there. What are you doing over there? I'm you swinging? Out. Yeah, just my swing okay. through. That's a good Hold use up. of your just time right now. Just in case the Sixers need me. Pull. Oh, my goodness. They might need you. All right. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.